Washington's top news, WTOP. Facts matter. 745. I'm Michelle Bash. And I'm Kyle Cooper. Thanks for being with us. We have a new take on a classic character in theaters. Ladies and gentlemen of the gallery gourmet, my name is Willy Wonka. He's good. Too good. John and I talked about the new film Wonka with Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World. Yes, John Michelle, one of my favorites of all time is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder. Not the Johnny Depp version. I didn't like that one. But this one is a prequel uh, of sorts uh, you know, because, again, Wonka is based off of books. It wasn't this film that we know and love, but uh, this is a prequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, focused on Wonka, what had happened before he got the Chocolate Factory. And uh Again, it's based on a 1964 novel for those that are like super nerds about it by Roald Dahl. Um, but yes, we're getting the early days of the Chocolatier. This one stars Timothy Chalamet uh, in the title role, uh, along with a uh, newcomer Kyla Lane, who's fantastic in it with him. Um, we just see him coming to, uh, I guess it's the UK. I'm not exactly sure. It really doesn't tell you the, the 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 place, the location of where this is taking place. But he comes to this area, wants to start this chocolate factory that was inspired by his mom as a chocolatier and gives us the this candy that we know and love. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other actors in this that uh, have fantastic roles in this, like Hugh Grant, who plays one of the Oompa Loompas. We have Keegan-Michael Key uh, as one of the cops. Uh, Rowan Atkinson, a lot of great stars in this. Um, I really enjoy this one. There's a lot of new, great new music uh, that we'll get in this. Um, and I think uh, Timothy Chalamet gives us that Gene Wilder aesthetic, that, that craziness, uh, if you will. Uh, that, to me, makes him the signature Wonka. But yes, this is a great one for the whole family. I really enjoy this one. All right. Meanwhile, staying in the sort of whimsical realm, fans of Claymation have a sequel to watch for on Netflix. Yes, Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget on Netflix. Uh, the original Chicken Run is still the top stop motion animation film of all time. It made the most money. Um, and so why not do another one? Uh, I've enjoyed a lot of the Ardman films. We've got Wallace and Gromit, the original Chicken Run, and a bunch of other projects. I can't remember them by name, but Wallace and Gromit stands out. So yes, uh, they're going back to the Chicken Run series. We're getting a, a little bit of aftermath of what happened. We had the chickens escaping from a, a farm where they're being made into chicken pot pies. Now we're living in kind of a different time where uh, most people want chicken nuggets. So they're living in ex exile on an island. But when we have new ones there that want to leave from the nest, if you will, uh, they get caught up in a bad situation and get pulled to a factory where we learn about nuggets and all other so types of insanity. Uh, but this is a fun one. Another great stop motion classic. It's a good time for the family and it's on Netflix. And if you want to just chill at home, it's a, it's a cool film to watch at home. Why not? On Skype, that is Kuya P of Nerds Rule the World, which previews the latest in film, TV, and streaming. 